all right all right so i decided to do a quick video showing what's on my tablet since um i haven't been too very active on the channel for a while mostly because i've been working consistently at alter ai which is my um ai framework so I've been working on alterai.me and you are invited to look it up and maybe subscribe there's a free you have like free credits to try this out okay now back to what we were saying um, this is my tablet galaxy galaxy tab s6 Lite, and i'm actually gonna do a lot of videos let me actually delete that i'm actually gonna do a lot of videos uh, from the tablet especially on the second channel world of x where i am posting a lot of videos uh on mathematics via the brilliant application so i'm doing a lot of uh, exercises on brilliant here so uh this doesn't have a uh landscape feature unless you use the multi-window so i'm actually gonna not use it or maybe just go to a world of x channel if you want to see more of what i'm posting there because there's a lot of um, there is a lot of interesting hard science stuff that i'm doing which i enjoy tremendously so going back into the portrait mode what is on my tablet so i've only one i i've only have one screen so uh yeah, this is the only screen that I have. And then is, I have the applications over here. So these are uh, the installed applications, settings, my files, Galaxy Store, Drive. These are all preloaded. So that's preloaded, 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 pan up. This is a wonderful application uh, that uh, is for coloring which is probably a good way to spend time but it can also be so i think it's from samsung and uh, it's completely free but the 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 very interesting feature that i'm learning about this is the live drawing thing so when you do live drawing it actually shows it actually shows you how to, uh, like, for example, let's take this. Let's take this, for example. Learn to draw. It actually shows you what you have to do. And now, so right now it's drawing itself. And once it's finished, so we can see here that 13, 14, 15, at some point is going to stop, I think. And then it's going to allow me to repeat the same things. I think, I'm just saying. Yeah, so right now I'm actually going to do the same thing. And then I can just continue so interesting the pen up the pen up thing is interesting what else so pen up is from um samsung i believe then we have dropbox for seamless synchronization chrome the ubiquitous chrome youtube researcher so these these are also preloaded researcher is not preloaded researcher is an application that i use to um track like hundreds of publications from um, 
the medical literature. So my publications, if we look into my publications, researcher has about right now maybe 17,000 uh, journals inside. And out of these 17,000, I've actually selected a list of maybe a couple of hundred. If we go back here. So my publications, my publications, journals, as you can see, I'm actually following the list is very big. So it might take me, I cannot get to the bottom of uh, everything that's in my publications every day because there are probably thousands of studies published in um, in all of these and i'm interested mostly in uh, bioactive food compounds and also stuff that has to do with uh, improving the immune system improving the function of the immune system because this is really fascinating it's a fascinating topic and i have a feed that I've created for a few dozen keywords which is called next level research and I'm able to keep up with this one because it's very narrow and there are maybe 150 to 200 studies uh, that uh, come up within this feed next level research so yeah this is a very nice app then moving on uh researcher then we have sheets and docs for google InShot. this is for video editing but i'm actually not using it a lot then of course we have twitter soto is for pdf annotation and reading and this is actually a book which is called all the math you missed by thomas Garrity, which is nice. And I'm also actually using this to review um, and read and annotate studies. So if we go into the annotation function, I can I can actually annotate. And also make notes here. So yeah. Definitely a good one. So Soto seems uh, to be a very good application. I'm new to it. What else? So we have the Soto. We have the ubiquitous Samsung Notes. Which... I've completely fallen in love with. So these three applications, um, Kindle, Brilliant, Samsung Notes are probably the most, the most used. And of course, there's also YouTube, which is what I use. I'm actually paying for YouTube Premium, which is extremely cheap. So um, YouTube Premium is like $5 a month and I get no ads which is amazing because it helps me uh, stay focused. I watch a lot of uh, conferences, lectures, courses, um, like massive open online courses from uh, universities like Stanford and MIT. And it's a seamless experience when you can watch uninterrupted video. Then we have Samsung Notes and we also have Brilliant, which... Uh, this is also a premium it's like 10 to 15 dollars a month and i actually have um, access to 60 plus courses which is like geek porn all science so we have math we have biology we have computer science and a lot of interesting stuff in there especially the machine learning course uh, what else we have? Physics. 
And there's a lot inside Brilliant, so it's well worth the investment, especially since I'm doing a lot of uh, math problem solving on my second channel. So, yeah. And, of course, uh, Samsung Notes is an application, so this is my main screen. I have the apps that I use mostly, and probably the apps that I use mostly here are Twitter, uh, Brilliant, of course, Kindle. Maybe we'll go into my Kindle in a future video. YouTube, uh, Chrome, of course, Gmail, I get a lot of emails, uh, and Samsung Notes, which is probably number one or number two. I believe the hierarchy would be Kindle number one, YouTube, and YouTube number two. Samsung Notes number three. I use a lot of emails, so Gmail number four. Researcher is number five. Twitter, no. Chrome is six, Twitter is seven. But Brilliant is probably with YouTube on number two. So yeah, that's the hierarchy. So when it comes to Samsung Notes, I believe this is the most powerful. So let's delete this note. I believe this is the most powerful note taking application. So in the main screen, we have folders here for the stuff that you're actually, you can organize your stuff into folders. And over here I have courses, the courses that I'm taking on Brilliant, a few of them. So computer science, and they actually look amazing. I might, post these notes at some point somewhere for free online if more people want it then the artificial neural networks course i'm always relearning things so i'm always going back to some of the very basics because i find that that's one of the best ways to uh look into something with different eyes you might there might be actually stuff that you might have missed and might actually spark some different uh, light bulbs inside your uh, biological neural network within your skull then we have the mathematical fundamentals uh, this is a course that i just started out i finished the mathematical fundamentals the version of 2020 but they've just added a new version in 2021, so um, I, I'm taking this with um, a low priority, um, with a low priority. Now, the other folders, books, the books that I'm actually, so this, the books that I'm actually taking notes from in Samsung Notes, this is one, Transformers for Natural Language Processing, and it's, it's a really good book. Uh, and then all the mathematics, all the mathematics you missed, the books, the book that you've seen. Uh, and as you can see, I'm here in linear algebra. And to showcase what I'm actually doing, we could just actually plug it in here with Soto, open and split screen view. And then we have Samsung Notes. We can just switch the two of them, do that. Maybe a little bit more space here. And then And then this is how you would actually take, uh, this is how I would actually study it. Take notes, this is a setup, so 
chapter one linear algebra and i would say here go into edit mode let's say introduction and what i could do over here change the style make it like thicker a different color done i could again take it from here convert to text introduction convert it converts it to text so it's that's why i'm saying this is a very powerful application and i'm really excited about using it every day so it's probably going to get to the to probably my number one most used application so yeah then we have creative folder this is the stuff that i post on my substack blog and interactive math these are the notes that I'm actually doing while solving exercises on the World of X YouTube channel. So go ahead and check them out. It's World of X. The ultimate purpose with the videos over there is to actually understand the underlying fabrics of machine learning and artificial intelligence and we do it from the ground up that's why we start with algebra so it's going to be really interesting uh, to see how it all uh, or what it all converges into now what i want someone to understand is that this is a very cheap tablet so it's probably the best price to quality ratio right now because it was around $250 and you get this amazing S Pen. Let's change the color here. You have the S Pen, which is, it puts everything into the next level, if, if I can put it that way. And it's a 10 4 inch screen tablet. It has uh, 4 gigs of RAM, which is sufficient, as you can see right now over here. Only 2.9 of them are used because I have all of these uh, stuff that are open up. Uh, but if I close them all, um, this is actually gonna. Um, this is actually gonna free about like one gig of RAM. So I usually have around two gigs of RAM free. As you can see, storage here is I have still sufficient storage. So because a lot of stuff is into Dropbox and uh, Google storage and things like that. So uh, $250, well worth the, well worth uh, the price. Four gigs of RAM, what else? 60 gigs of storage plus the ability to enhance that or to increase that using a micro SD card. Uh, the, yeah, this is a creator's tablet. Again, tab S6 Lite. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not going to put links in. So I am not going to put links to the tab S6 Lite in the description. Because, uh, yeah, this is not a sponsored video. So I'm actually very excited, very fascinated by this tablet. And when I'll have more money, uh, I'll get the tab s8 which is about to be released and that's a monster tablet so i might be talking about it in a different video compared to tab s6 Lite, s8 has i believe eight gigs of ram so twice the the amount of that i think it comes with 128 or 256 gigs of storage and also uh i think that's um if S6 Lite is 8 core, I think this is 8 or 60. So it's octa core, or I don't know what you say, 16 cores. Yeah. And of course, the price for the S8 is probably around $1,000 right now. But with the 
uh, tab S6 light over here. So the tab S6 light, as I have said, 250 gigs is well worth, especially if you're someone who studies a lot like me. I actually read and study and do stuff do creative stuff, do a lot of creative work for the majority of the day when, when I'm actually in uh, my working mode. Um, so for six to 10 hours a day, it's well worth the investment, especially if it, if it allows you to make money over the long term. Uh, and I think that's actually the case for me because I'm looking at everything over the long term. So yeah, I've bragged a lot about it. This is the first video talking about the S6 Lite. Uh, my channel is about myself and my interests. So it's not about cybersecurity unless cybersecurity is one of my active interests. And right now cybersecurity has fallen from uh, the top of my priority list to maybe number three or four uh, until further notice. Uh, right now I'm focusing on uh, developing Alter AI, the framework, so alterai.me, and of course, increasing, ever increasing my knowledge in uh, machine learning and the underlying uh, concepts that power machine learning from a first principles perspective. So we start with the math. So heavy on math right now, heavy on machine learning, having heavy on alter AI. Therefore, uh, th there might be a combination of machine learning plus cybersecurity, uh, which is something that I've done in the past and I might be doing in the future. Uh, but right now, uh, it's just at the point of idea. I might integrate some cybersecurity stuff or features into alter AI, but I don't know. These are only ideas and I'm probably going to talk more about them when I devote more mental space to them. So yeah, this is it.